Shit's about to get real. Shit's yes, it is, Grog. Yes, it is. Shit's about to get real, real, man. Yo, everybody, it's Leviathan. We're back with another reaction today. Today, we are continuing up The Legend of Vox Machina. And honest to God, it's one of my favorite things that I'm currently watching at the moment. The first episodes were so good, and they set up such a good tone for, like, how the rest of the season is going to go. It was really good. Um, recapping the last episode, you know, we were continuing up with this whole dragon ordeal that they were kind of dealing with. Um, you know, they went out to kind of um, regroup and try to figure out how to really defeat this dragon you know so they kind of split up as a team tried to gain some information about it but and ultimately ended up regrouping right so they were um uh, suspicious of that guy F uh fince i believe his name was the uh the gray gray skin uh character who was in the um king's court they thought he was the gun working with the dragon but yo they threw up through such a loop it ended up being that general krieg guy and an even bigger twist this guy ended up actually being the dragon so honestly like that was a great battle seeing that um them kind of working together and and fighting as a team you know it, it was it was honestly enjoyable we really got to see a lot more for like what's going to set up the f further on going into the series here so i'm really excited to see what's going to happen with that with that note though um we're gonna get started and just jump right into it don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when i upload next and make sure you also check out the patreon link full on cut reactions of this show other animes and movies things like that honestly check it out it's it's definitely if it's for you i appreciate all the support that comes on there but with that note we are going to get started with the legend of alex machina episode three let's go okay this episode is titled the Feast of Realms. <laughs> it was a funny father. <laughs> and Percy too. <laughs> oh shoot, are we are we starting with a Percy backstory? What, what's going on here? Yo, it seems that like Percy's family all got massacred, man. By who? Who the hell killed this man's family? Yo! What a way to start an episode! <laughs> this guy just woke up in a in a hot sweat. This guy's having a bad dream. Bad dream? Is there any other kind? It was interesting that he had the plague doctor's mask, you know, in his room. Cause, cause you know, like, if he's a plague doctor or something, like, that's interesting. Good morning, everybody. Bro, I just can't, I can't get used to the fact that oh, these people have morning, an actual, Max. that these guys are actual homeowners now. Seven to two. <laughs> Must you? We can't all be aloof tight asses, draw. Lady Laura, <laughs> welcome. Hope you didn't feel the need to bring a housewarming present. I didn't. Alas, I'm only here to remind you that Sovereign Uriel expects you at his dinner. Oh shit, that's tonight? Finally! Lady Allura, we appreciate the gravity of the situation and will present ourselves with the utmost dignity. <laughs> Good one! Seven to five! Five? He was just at two. Oh yeah, that was a three-pointer. You see, the rules of ball tag are as complex as they are beautiful. <laughs> Remember what we practiced. Be reserved, be charming, protocol. From him on, Fox Machina? Is that all you got? Allow me. Ahem! Vox Machina, champions of justice, hunters of dragons, destroyers of chastity. Bro, hide your daughters, man. This guy's a destroyer of chastity. <laughs> hide your daughters. <laughs> How's anyone supposed to get drunk from these days? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're just fancy shots, Grog. Two for you, and three for me. Ooh, cheers! cheers. <laughs> this is fantastic. Diplomats are here from all over Taldori. The Even... Whitestone, Lord Silas and Lady Delilah Briarwood. Oh shit! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Are these are these the people who murdered his family? So those two uh, have a connection with him? What's wrong? 
It's Last episode we saw them, I thought they were dragons, but Lightstone maybe was not. My home. And those fiends took everything from me. I like how they're, they're there for their friend right? like that, though. Immediately they were like, yo, what do you need us to do, Percy, bro? Those are real homies right there. And somehow you guys look worse every time we see you. Shit's about to get real. <laughs> Shit's, yes, it is, Grog. Yes, it is. Shit's about to get real, real bad. Uriel Taldore the Third, and Empress Solda Taldore. Um. <clears throat> Yo, these guys are so uncivilized. They have to be told to stand up for their king. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for making the journey in. Mercy. He's just staring like a perv. He said the Briarwoods took everything. What does that mean? They know nothing about Percy, bro. Percy keeps everything bottled in, man. He doesn't talk to anybody. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, sure. Percy, I say you just walk over to the Briarwoods, say hello to break the ice, then punch him in the face. See what happens. Grog, no. Great plan. Hey, Grog's idea. That, that's actually a great idea, You've man. That's a chance to get <laughs> into a snake that was cool as shit i'm impressed i've heard dark rumors about whitestone they say no one travels in or out of your lands lies spread by drunks and knaves or perhaps i might be forced to send a garrison of troops to check on your city yeah they, they definitely got something going on with them vampires right. maybe <laughs> there's maybe. no need in fact whitestone needs to be protected whole thing bro Ooh, nice she witnessed that whole thing bro <laughs> in front of everybody what an absolute pleasure to meet the protectors of the realm my husband silas charmed bro these people look like such vampires man I i'm i'm calling it bro they're vampires <laughs> That shit was his belt buckle? Have you heard how we became caretakers of Whitestone? The official story is that the city was administered by the Dorolo family until they succumbed to a rare disease. The sad reality is that the Dorolos abdicated. They grew bored of ruling, and after their children raided the treasury, they abandoned their people to rot. Wow, bro, wow. And they even created a whole fabricated story to make him even look worse. So refined. She remembers who he is. That's why she was doing that shit. She was trying to, she was trying to like piss Excuse him off. Us for a moment. That, that was completely mm -hmm. intentional. You don't understand. Then help us understand. Yeah, bro. Like, who else are you gonna Brian tell Woods. about your like horrible life, bro? Family. Except these dudes. The real was more pliant than even I anticipated. Our circumstances have changed. <laughs> bro. Beg your pardon. Bro, they knew it, they knew he was sneaking around Forgot too. Little... Be right back. <laughs> yeah, I think they're vampires because the power of compulsion is a definitely a vampire thing. Okay, I'll distract you go quietly. Allow <laughs> Scanlan Shorthall to delight you with an after dinner song I like to call Pull My Beads of Love. A two, three, four! I don't really know what you're thinking oh. when you're looking at a gnome like me. I wait, but I 
can show you something special. What are they doing to this guy, man? And do you look delicious? <laughs> Yo, I was so right. I called that shit like way before it was even Let's revealed, man. The hints were there way before they were there. His whole demeanor just looked like a vampire, man. We have to move. There's no way out tonight, my friend. Take, is he gonna be able to survive this? Here. It's the pup who survived, all grown up. Step on, bitch. <laughs> So are they both vampires? It looks like as though like only one of them is a vampire, the other one's something completely different. I think not. <laughs> These are Amon's protectors of the realm. Weird yellow glow on it. Bro, I don't even know how he's how he's still singing right now without them stopping him. Shit, Grog's getting messed. Shit, man. Yo, this guy didn't even, yo, this guy didn't even feel that, bro. Bro, the most broken power, man, immunity to testicle shots. Oh my god, man, yo, these two are like running away. Yo, they're trying to get back into Whitestone as fast as possible, man. Always welcome back home. That's gonna be a great revenge arc, man. I had them! I had them! And you let them slip away! <laughs> Percy, you need to chill out right now, bro. You need to chill out right here. If, he, if he, he's gonna say something, he's gonna regret, bro. These people are trying to help you. Start talking. Why were the Briarwoods here? What were they after? They were never mind, yo. He's you. a little bit more calm than I thought he was, man. Silas and Delilah have never left He's a lot the more calm. Of yeah, get before. this, get this like Why information. Why now? Holy oh, shit, Percy! What are you doing? Please, I'm, I'm only a servant. They, they don't tell me anything. Please don't hurt me. Please don't. That's hurt what me. I was wondering before about the plague doctor Percy, mask. No. You know? <laughs> that means this guest happened into something more darker, primal even. Yeah, yeah. There it is. What is the meaning of this? Guards, arrest Fox Machina! Quickly! Go, bro, go. man, this turned- Yo, this Nobody changed up move. everything, bro. Yo, shit's, shit's picking up real quick. Fuck. Okay, guys. That was The Legend of Vox Machina Episode 3. Man, yo. Good, yo. I, I'm getting so much more invested into the show every single episode. I love the fact that when we get into like little like character arcs with certain characters and kind of like building upon it. This time we were looking at focusing on on Percy. I think last episode, last two episodes were more on Vax and Vex. But man, oh man, to learn that his family was killed um, and massacred essentially, and that these people, the Briar Woods, the ones we saw from episode two, were the actual people who massacred his family, like that in itself was so very interesting to see. And the fact that you had Percy holding in his emotions, and I think I understood why he was doing that, because that's what she was saying. Emotions aren't something that you just keep bottled in, express them, but he doesn't express his emotions because when he does, it comes out into into a negative way, like as we saw in the end of the episode here. I'm glad I called out the fact that that guy was a vampire, like Silas Briarwood. I was a complete guest in a throwaway, and I was just kind of like, 
making shit up, but turns out he was an actual, uh, an actual vampire, so good on me there. <laughs> Going forward, they ended up um, battling and um, ended up escaping, you know. Percy, angry as shit. Never seen this guy lose his cool at all in the last two episodes, so seeing him get really angry and tap into something a lot darker with the plague doctor mask and everything ended up getting them all in trouble and, and now they're all arrested. And it, it, it's so it's so crazy how how quickly things things change in this in this show. You know, episode one they were making fun of Vox Machina. Episode two, Vox Machina steps up and they're praising Vox Machina. Episode three, Vox Machina uh, um, basically betrays their expectations and then they're arrested. So now episode four is gonna be dealing with arrested Vox Machina trying to prove its innocence. <laughs> with that note, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I will see you guys around again. Thank you guys all for the support. Support you give for these videos greatly appreciated keeps pushing me to keep doing these further but with that note i will see you guys around bye